Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today, today we will be testing some popular fragrances, trying to figure out if I'm gonna bring them into the fold, you know, if they are full bottle worthy. So if you're interested in my thoughts, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you've decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. If you have not already subscribed, now is the time. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button because why? It's free, <laughs> free 99. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notifi notification bell to all <laughs> and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. That really, truly helps my channel. As always, before we get into the fragrances, then let's talk about my scent of the day. So today I decided to pull for this one because it's hot as heck. When I tell you it's hot as Hades, it is so hot here. So I pulled for Juliet Has a Gun and this is Pear Ink. So this is a very light, airy, musky fragrance. It's called Pear Ink. You get a hint of pear, really. But to me, on my skin, it's just super musky. I think there's pear, there's musk, there's ambroxan. I don't know what else is in here, but it just is what it is. It is a very refreshing, very clean, very musky fragrance. So today, my scent of the day is this one right here, and this is Pear Ink from the house of Juliet Has a Gun. Okay, y'all, so let's start talking about some fragrances that are pretty popular, um, and I'm just trying to figure out, am I gonna bring them into the fold or not? You know, that's, that's what we're doing today. So the first one I have here, shout out to my girl, Liz, naturally Liz, hooking me up with um, a couple uh, decants so I could talk about the fragrances, see if I like them, not blind by them. <laughs> Thank you, Liz, appreciate ya. So the first one I have right here is Yara Candy. So, you know, this one, a lot of people, you know, it broke the internet for real because the, the uh, marketing campaign was so pretty. I saw the girlies going to New York for the event. It was just so nice. I was a little jealous though, but anywho. So Yara Candy. So I tested it out. Thanks to my girl Liz for sending this to me. And you know, I won't even hold you. It's, this one's a no for me. This is not <laughs> something that I wanna smell like you know, I feel like it's for somebody a little bit younger. Um, I can't even say my daughter because my daughter's favorite fragrance is Jazz Club. So <laughs> we're going to leave that there. But yeah, Yara Candy, you know, it's like a um, on my skin, it's like a really tart kind of fruity vibe. And it's pretty or whatever. I just don't think that that's a fragrance for me. I don't think that that's you know, I just, this, this, this is not it. This is not it. Yeah, but it's pretty. It's not a bad fragrance or anything like that, but just not for me. So, yep, this is Yara Candy from the house of Latafa. <laughs> okay, next up is another fragrance that I got from my girly um, Liz. And this one is Wave Child from Room 1015. Now, I took some pause with this one because... You know, everybody was talking about it. They were like, oh my gosh, that's the scent of the summer. It's watermelon and this and that. And I was like, ooh, this sounds amazing. But you know why I took pause? It was that oceanic kind of vibe. That kind of, those C notes or whatever it is in this fragrance. I was like, mm, Roxanne, just don't do it. And I don't have anything from this house. So I don't know the DNA of the house. So I was like, mm. May, I'll, I need to get a little decant or something. And Liz was as wonderful as she is, sent this to me. So, my thoughts on Wave Child. On first spray, I mean, I got the watermelon. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be smelling like a watermelon dream. It's sweet. It's so pretty. Very girly, very girly, very 
you know, very summery, very wonderful. Something that could, something that would be perfect for me in the state of Florida because you know we have summer nine months of the year. So I was like, yeah, I'm digging this. It's citrusy. I get the watermelon. I get a little bit of coconut, and I'm like, yeah, I'm living my best life until, <laughs> until that dry down. That darn dry down just sealed the deal and it wasn't a good deal that it's I could not get with it it was that oceanic kind of you know it's just kind of fresh and those type of fragrances they do something on my skin that I just don't like it just doesn't it's fresh and it's too fresh it goes like a little fishy if that makes any sense I just can't get with it so Ah, Liz, the two fragrances, the two decans that you sent me, they were just a no. I will not be getting a full bottle of Wave Child at all. I'm going to give this to my son and see what he thinks about it, what it does on his skin. But yeah, I can't get with Wave Child. So this is Wave Child from Room 1015. Next up, we got this one here. And this is Juice from Commodity, but this is Juice Bold. So, you know, this just dropped a few months ago, a couple months ago. And I was like, huh, do I want to bring her into the fold? Do I want to bring her into the fold? So I got this decant. I love these decans that I get from, um, where did I get this? From a friend of mine. And they have like the nice um, labels on it. So yeah, this is Juice Bold. So this one has notes of raspberry, strawberry, rhubarb, rose. And I like it. I really like it and I ended up sp smelling the um, the expressive at Sephora and I like that one too but it's not a love for me it's not something that I'm like oh yeah I really want to bring it in I mean it's it's pretty it's it's nice enough I would wear this I'm gonna wear the rest of my decant and you know call it a day it's just not it's a very fruity fragrance and it's I have so many fruity fragrances in my collection that this one is not something that I, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's unique or anything like that for me to bring it into the fold. So, no, Juice Bold or even Juice Expressive Personal, they are all alike for me and nothing that I'm going to run to bring into the collection. So this is Juice Bold from the House of Commodity. Gosh, I'm 0 for 3. Hmm. Next up, we have this one here, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico from City Rhythm. And I spoke about this already, like it was my scent of the day, I think when I was filming one time. And um, I've worn it. I actually have two 10 ml decants of this. Now this one right here, this is a lime bomb. On the opening, in the opening, you just get a burst of lime. It kind of reminds me in the opening of Malibu Party in the Bay from Simone Andrioli. I don't have a full bottle of that, but I smelled it before. It just gives you like this really rush of lime. So very invigorating in the opening. And then you smell the pineapple, you smell the mango, and then it starts going to like going into like a creamy kind of deal. It's a sweet fragrance. It's creamy. It's very luscious. There's coconut and apricot also, and then some vanilla, musk, and what's in, and driftwood in the base. Now, when I spoke about this fragrance, I said I was still on the fence, and I still remain on the fence. It's a nice fragrance, but do I need it? It reminds me of Leisure in Paradise a little bit, the denseness and the thickness of the fruits that's, are, that's in here. So yeah, again, I'm still on the fence. I like it, but I don't think it's a love for me. I'm going to wear my decants and see how that goes and then decide. But it's a very pretty fragrance. I could wear this into the fall in Florida. Um, I think anybody could wear it into the fall. I think you could wear this throughout except the dead of winter. But yeah, so this is Puerto Rico from City Rhythm. I like to say that. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Roll in the tongue. Yeah, so this is Puerto Rico from the House of City Rhythm. It's a, I'm on the fence. It's not a no, but it's not a yes, so I'm deciding. <laughs> so we're sticking to the House of City Rhythm, and this one is Miami Tropical Confessions. 
Huh, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, spoiler alert, this is full bottle worthy for me. Gosh, I love this one. So it opens the note that it, that really smashes into my nose when I smell this, is that sesame. There's a sesame seed note in the opening. There's also some lime. So I'm almost feeling like <laughs> that's part of the, the house's DNA. I don't know, but maybe for their tropical kind of fragrances, that's what they do, a lot of lime. But there's lime and sesame in the opening, and then there's some white rum, jasmine. So it's floral, it's a little boozy, it's sexy too. Yeah, if you don't like a sesame note, you gotta stay away from this because the sesame note in this fragrance in the opening and all the way throughout is quite, quite noticeable. Quite noticeable. And I know it's booming on my skin, so. And then in the base, you have some tonka bean, myrrh, and sandalwood. So all in all, this is like a, a fruity, kind of tropical floral fragrance with some, you know, resins, just just gorgeous. I love this one. I haven't smelled the regular Miami, but Tropical Confessions, that's, yeah. So of all the fragrances I spoke of, one, two, three, four, this is the fifth one. Finally, finally we're here where we could say this one is full bottle worthy. So it's definitely going to be on the wish list <laughs> to come join the collection. So this is Miami Tropical Confessions from the house of City Rhythm. Okay, next up is this one right here, and this is Pano, oh Lord, Panoco, Panoco Ta. I don't know if I'm saying it right. From Famoa, Paris. Y'all, I wanted to love this one, I really did. I really did. So this one is supposed to be like a mango-centric fragrance. So there's mango, orange, vanilla in the opening. In the middle, there's more vanilla and panna cotta. The same panna cotta that's in Devotion. So when I saw the notes, I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm gonna love it, ooh, ooh. Spoiler alert, I don't love it. Mm -mm, I don't love it. There's something, there's something in this fragrance and I don't know what it is. And it even has saffron and musk and more vanilla in the base. But on my skin, it was a hard no, and I just, I was a little disappointed. I tried it, I wore it like at least three times to try to get a feel for the fragrance, to try to understand the fragrance, to love the fragrance, but I didn't love it, so here we go. So Panoka, Panoa, Panokota is a no for me. Gosh, I can't even say it, so obviously it's a no. <laughs> Okay, so next up is this one right here, and this is Granita from Aziri Paris. <laughs> Y'all, if you have not smelled this one, get your nose on it. Get your nose on this one. So this one opens with peach, exotic fruits, passion fruit. Then we have melon, caramel, and vanilla. And then we have musk, sandalwood, coconut, and amber. Don't those notes just smell like amazing? <laughs> they smell amazing. It actually does smell amazing. I was trying to say it sounds amazing. But yeah, I really like this one. This one is more of a summer fragrance. It's like a really sweet, decadent, um, peach forward fragrance. The other fruits are in the background, I would say. But when I spray this, it just takes me to just this wonderful, happy place. I don't know what that's about, but all I know is that this one is definitely full bottle worthy. Very pretty, very summery. And then the amber in the base kind of gives it some depth, kind of just grounds the fragrance. Yeah. This one's a love for me. This one is definitely full bottle worthy. So Granita from Aziri Paris. She's coming home to mama. She is. <laughs> Last and certainly not least is this one right here. This is vanilla powder. What's the house? Um, Matier Premier. You guys know. You, if, you're, if you're into fragrances, you know what this one is. So on first spray, I was like, hmm. I was a little confused because I'm like, is it vanilla or is it coconut? <laughs> Cause I get a lot of coconut in the opening. And then when I looked at the notes, there was like co a coconut powder. What else is in here? Um, vanilla, heliotrope, more vanilla. So Madagascar vanilla is in the middle and in the base you have 
Vanilla Absolute, White Musk, Musk, Palo Santo, more coconut, and then a molecule kind of lactones. But what I get on my skin is like a coconut vanilla fragrance. That's what I get. It's super strong, y'all. <laughs> this one's a beast, man. It was just like, I put, you know, I put a few sprays on and I was wearing it. I'm like, my goodness, this one's strong, strong. <laughs> so, yep, this is vanilla powder. Definitely going to be coming into the fold. I like this. I like this one. It wasn't love at first sniff, but I'm really enjoying it. I want to really Im um, explore this house also because I hear a lot of good things about it. So, yep, vanilla powder is going to be a full bottle coming to my collection. Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy testing new fragrances, see what's what, see who's coming home to mama. So, yep, of the ones that I discussed, let me see. One, two, gosh, I think there's only three that I know for sure that's going to be full bottle worthy. Yep. Yep. Not bad. My pockets are like, yeah, yeah, only three. <laughs> Y'all, and like I always say, we can be anything in this world we want to be with a lot of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Even if we're not there, and even if we are, we're going to smell like good people. We're going to smell fabulous at all times. See y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.